Just as a side note to everybody, even though I am getting feedback on my microwaving, I am not getting any feedback on whether or not you like my Captain Microwave character. So I'm going to reduce the amount of screen time for that character unless I get some bring him back feedback. So I'm just going to switch to introducing the item, microwaving it, giving the verdict and the explanation, nothing more, nothing less. If I still get no feedback, then I'm just going to switch to a total purist format where I just throw something in the microwave, no talking, no anything, and the verdict is going to be in the description or everything will have a do not attempt on it. Anyways, today I'm going to be microwaving a carrot. And you know about my microwave, that it's a GE, and that I named it and everything. I'm not going to go that route. I'm just going to say, carrot goes in the microwave for two minutes. In case you're wondering why I'm using the home microwave, it's because the one I did outside, the film didn't take for some reason, and not like it mattered, because you can't see a thing in that microwave out there. I'm ready to retire it. Now, looking at the carrot, it looks nicely cooked. And even though it did pop a little, that was unexpected, because when I did it out there, it didn't happen, but... This is a 1200 watt microwave. That one's like, I don't know, 1,900. And it's nice and soft. Just like a cooked carrot. And because of the shape of the carrot, all it can do is pop a little. 
Nothing bad can actually happen from just a carrot. So, what's my verdict? Not just a good idea, but a great idea. It's a perfectly cooked carrot. Still a little bit crunchy. At least it seems like it is. Saves some time. And it makes a nice perfect snack on a winter's day when you're craving a carrot or some other kind of vegetable similar to it. But you want something to warm you up and you don't want to take the time for the oven.